Well, guys, it's like 34 out right now. It's cold. Low wind, so that's nice. We're at the old fire pond that we used to film a ton at. And we just, you know, just, we didn't really come back here too often. But now, we're back. We're doing a little multi-species. We're going to try to catch catfish for you guys. We're, uh, and we're going to try to catch a bass, so. Alrighty, guys, so. What we're doing here is I'll kind of show you. I let this sit there for a minute, but just got the bait caster here. I'll reel this up and show you guys what we're kind of dealing with here. So what the deal is here is it's just like an upside down drop shot rig pretty much. I just got, I think this is 50 pound braid with a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then we just got a circle hook with some chicken on it. And that's about it. Easy as that. Just cast it on out there, let her sit, and hopefully you get a bite. Loosen up the drag all the way. And you're, and you're good to go. You know guys, I'm not gonna take like a ton of time here just because I mean there could be fish here, I just I I don't know, they could just be moved out out deeper in the middle, so So guys, all I'm using here, this is just a, just a little, uh, just shaky head, as you can see. And then I just got a Guggenbait Slim Shake, and then I'm just using 15 pound, or this might be 20 pound braid with a 8 pound fluorocarbon leader on this, so. Just give it an extra little, you know, feel the bites a little better with that fluorocarbon leader. And it also is invisible, so your bass can't see it. You can't see the braid down there if you just use straight braid, so. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to reel this up, and then I'm going to walk. Oh, shoot. I'm going to walk over to the other side of the pond that I was just fishing. So, catch you guys over there. There we go. There we go. Oh, didn't even mean to cast there and caught one. Just a little guy, but go ahead and get the release on him. Didn't even mean to cast there, guys. Oh, there he goes. Woo! I'm telling you guys. Shaky heads, where, that's where it's at. I'm telling you. Easy to rig. Just bite about this much off, just like a quarter of an inch. Bite that off, and then screw it on the lock head, or the screw head, and then you're good to go. That's all you gotta do. That feels like a new one. Yep, it is. little guys but that's okay smaller than the last one oh. we're not getting any bigger we're getting smaller so it's not a good sign but hey at least it's something little guy there he goes alrighty guys so got the got rigged up re-rigged up here so all I got on this is like I'd say about a three foot leader on this and what I do is there's little, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's little ribs in these. And I just cut it at the first rib right there. Right, yeah, right there. So, either can take your knife, bite it off. They do taste kind of bad, so I wouldn't bite it. I mean, I have before, that's why I know they taste bad, but the fish love them. So, just like I said, this is just a little Guggenbait Slim Shake. You just take it and just screw it right onto that. And then what I like to do 
is just take it and go kind of far up just like that and just bury that so look at so that's completely weedless the hook isn't even out just like that and there you go you got yourself a shaky head it stands up on the bottom just like that so perfect little combo and what you do for the extra sauce you get this stuff here let's just dip it dip and glow it's called just uh garlic scented just take it and I will warn you, if you've never used this stuff and you are going to use it, don't get it on your boat because it does stain the carpet. It will. Then you just quick, just dip it. I just dipped the first couple little inches there. And there you go. And I mean, once you... Oh, whoops. That was not a good idea. But I can take a little bit of this and just... It's a good thing about having a farm truck. You got hay that you can wipe yourself with. Now it is. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> my line was way over there. I'm like, what the heck? Well, guys, there's a catfish. There's a Mitchell. Bullhead. Yeah, a bullhead. Well, I don't. E I've never even caught a catfish. I don't even yeah, know. That's your time. Yeah. Do they got teeth? Not to where it's gonna hurt. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Just bit me. <laughs> Ah, dude, <laughs> little sucker. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so uh, we just got back in. We just filleted it. It's just right here in some Frank's Red Hot. But uh, we're just going to cook it the same way we actually uh, cooked the crappie in. So we're not really going to film any of that. We're just going to film my reaction because because uh, I've never had, well, I've had catfish, but I've never actually like caught catfish fresh and then ate it. So, um... We're going to go ahead and fry this up and then uh, get my reaction on camera to see uh, what I think of it. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so we uh, cooked it up as you can see. Um, Mitchell kind of totally did a botch on this one, totally sliced it right in half. But I'm going to go ahead, first time ever trying a fresh catfish. We uh, double dipped it in the flour and then just put Frank's Red Hot just like we did the crappie catch and cook. If you didn't watch that video, definitely go and check it out. But uh, gonna try this here. We'll see what it tastes like. Dude, that's amazing. That's good. Wow. You like it more than crappie? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can say that, but I mean, Never had catfish before. The only thing I do like about this is there's it's like a lot meatier than like crappie. It's not like like I don't know, it's, you know like how crappie just like flaky and it's like thin. This is like super meaty. I think it's good. Let me film uh, I'm gonna film Mitchell trying this piece, so now he has had catfish before, right? Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty fire yeah. for not, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's crispy too. You can see oh, the steam that's coming just all... Yeah, that's just batter, but... Batter. I mean, even that, that's fire, yeah. Alrighty, guys, so, um, just like I said, I think it's amazing. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah, it is hot. So, we're going to go ahead. We are actually going to be doing a cat catfishing. Yeah, catfishing tomorrow. And then... Okay, some small mouth. Yeah, and then we're gonna try smallmouth because the lake that we're going to does have a lot of smallmouth in it, and uh, and big catfish. Actually, my dad, we were fishing a tournament. Kind of a funny, funny story. We were fishing a tournament there last year, and we seen like all these like splashes on the bank, and we're like, what the heck? You know, we didn't know what it was. And uh, my dad casts up a jerk bait up there, and all of a sudden, I mean, he just hooks this thing, and it was like a 10-pound catfish. We had to fight it for like literally like. 30 minutes it was it was kind of funny but then again it wasted a ton of our time but anyways we're, i'm gonna get out of here stop pull, what, what's up with this man is he good he's good <laughs> we're gonna get out out of here um thank you guys so much for watching just like i said stay tuned we're gonna be catfishing tomorrow and bass fishing so kind of like today's video but on a way bigger form we're hopefully hopefully gonna get some bigger catfish 
Anyways, stay tuned for that video. Small mouth, large mouth, catfish, all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned, just like I said, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode.